they may want to see whether you will respond. Sometimes when exes just suddenly message you out of nowhere, out of the blue, and in the case of this person, they've been your ex for a year or more now, and all of a sudden, out of the blue, they Snapchat you. A lot of times when they do that, they just want to see if you're going to respond to them. So be very careful about getting really excited over the fact that they Snapchatted you out of the blue because oftentimes it's almost like they're just trying to dip your toe into the water just to see what happens. And a lot of times when people go this route, when they use some kind of social media to reach out to an ex, they're not committing to what they're doing as far as the possibility of trying to get back with that ex. Because you're using an impersonal, a pretty impersonal medium to do it, as in their social media. Usually when someone is really interested in getting back with someone else, they might try to be a little bit more intimate than that. Now, perhaps she's lost your number or she no longer has your number over since it's been about a year since the both of you have no longer been dating. So there is that possibility. So perhaps the only way she can reach out to you is through Snapchat. So that is possible. But even with that, it's really important that you don't allow yourself to get so caught up in, wow, she's reached out to me and I wonder what I should do. Maybe this is an ex that you still have feelings for. Maybe this is an ex that you didn't want to break up with. Or perhaps this is an ex that you've hoped would reach out to you at some point, has constantly been in your mind in some capacity in the last year since the both of you broke up. And now that she Snapchatted you, <clears throat> you feel like, okay, is there something here? Now, Again, it's it, there's no guarantee that she's actually looking to get back with you. As I mentioned earlier, if she's if she Snapchatted you out of the blue, it could it, a lot of times it's just to see how you respond to that, see if you respond to it, or see if you do something just to make her know whether oh, okay he still remembers me or he may still want to reconnect with me in some way. So the fact that you're curious about this, about why this ex would Snapchat you out of the blue would indicate that you do still care to an extent. So it's really important that you really take a look at your feelings as far as this ex is concerned and where you stand with them. Because if you don't make an assessment of how you're feeling about this ex or how you feel about this ex, then you may you might end up getting yourself involved or plunging into something that you're not ready to do. Because if you're dealing with an ex who's only looking to see whether you respond to them and they're not really looking for much else, perhaps they will entertain Snapchatting you back and forth for a while because perhaps they're currently not in a relationship or they're feeling relatively lonely. It's easier. It's easier for people to go back to something that they're familiar with. That's why exes constantly we re connect or try to contact an ex because it's easier that way someone they already have a history with but it doesn't mean that they're looking to get back with that ex oftentimes they've just reached a point in their life where perhaps they're looking to talk to someone because there's no one else around they're not in a relationship so be very careful about beginning to create something that's not really there because this ex may have just snapchatted you because they're in that situation right now where they're pop probably not in a relationship with anyone and you they're just looking to feel connected to something but it doesn't mean that they're looking to actually get back with you so if you feel the need to respond to this snapchat then it's you should start off with asking them about what it is that they want because you really need to set the record straight before you do anything with them you really need to do that and again, assess your feelings as far as this person is concerned. And when you're able to do all of that and see how they respond, then you'll be able to move forward. 